Hello community. Do you remember last time when we looked at this picture, we found out that for an image classification with vision transformer, we could not identify the face of the woman, but we could only identify the ping pong balls and the light chain. So now let's look why this happened. So we're here in the Google Colab notebook and we look now at the self-attention pattern in an image. So we have our vision transformers and we use here, as I told you, something that we call Dino. This is based on a scientific paper and it was by those persons. Now we are gonna use now something that we say the vision transformers are pre-trained in a self-supervised fashion using this particular Dino method. And then we have a look where we have the self-attention patterns based on the different attention heads or the multi-attention heads within our layers in our vision transformers. So here we go. First is clear. We install our transformers. This is done within seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Done. Then we just have here a, a visualization program. Never mind. I just load some files, never mind. And then I have here the picture from last time where we had the classification task by the vision transformers and we could not identify the girl. And now we wanna see why. So first, of course, we have now a CUDA core because we have to work now with a GPU. So I have a runtime with a GPU. So let's make it fast. What we do, we have now exactly like in the last time here, our transformers and we have our vision transformer feature extractor and we use here from facebook a pre-trained vision transformer model with that has been trained pre-trained with this famous dino method methodology we define the size we say beautiful and this is it so we get a torch size out of this and when now of course we need a model and of course, we need from our transformers now a vision transformer model, and we take the identical. And please check that this is really the identical model now for our pre trained model. Add pooling link is false, and we put it on our GPU. So beautiful. And then we let it calculate it now our forward pass. And while the calculation is done, oh, it's already ready. Let's have a look at hugging face. You see hugging face here, our models. I have here from Facebook, the Dino Vision Transformer B, the base model 16. So here it is, trained using Dino. And as you always hear in the model card you have using the Dino method, it was introduced. Yes, yes, yes. And this is the paper I showed you. Now here you get the model description and everything. Notice that the model does not include any fine-tuned heads. Yes, we know this. And we want to just have now on our particular picture, we want to visualize now the attention maps of all attention heads in the last encoder stack layer of our vision transformers. So let's do this. Beautiful. And then we just want to have a visualization of this. So the number of the attention head in the last layer is 12. So we will get 12 picture out of this. And here's our first one. And if you look now, let's make it a little bit, where is it? Let's make it so that you can see both pictures here side by side. And you see now exactly, oops, that's a little bit too big the picture, but okay, you, you get the idea. This is our picture. And you can see now clearly where the trained dino model uh, from our vision transformer focused uh, the attention. And as you can see, it was here, somewhere here, but it was not able to pick the face of this woman. Here, the next attention had focused somewhere here in the middle, I don't know where, maybe it was this one here. Then you can see we have some abstract something here, I don't know what this was. You see here the kind of the light chain here emerges here as the main attention point for our vision transformers. And this is why we get no clear object classification from this picture. 
Yeah, this picture you could argue, okay, maybe this is somehow the head, or I don't know, but you know, you would not, I would not be able to recognize this as a human face in the background. No wonder that our image classification algorithms could not succeed in this. Interesting, look here at this bright spot here, this completely ignored here by our algorithm. Now, next attention hat somewhere in the middle, yes. Then here are bright spots, yes, of course. Here, I don't even know where this is, but okay. So you see, more or less, I mean, this is an interesting detection of the most important picture. This is just the surrounding here of our light cone here, interesting. So this is what the algorithm has been trained on, and this is when it looks at this particular image, what it can now focus the attention heads on, and this attention head pattern would lead to an object ad identification, a classification of the image. And this here is the very last one. And as you can see, I would not be able with, even with high level of imagination to say that this is the face of a woman. So this is now the reason why we did not manage last time when we wanted to have an image classification of this picture to get a result we get here this ping pong balls and this light chain, yes, but it was completely unaware that here in the background of this picture, there is the face of a woman. So you see a vision transformer, if they are trained on a particular class of objects, it was visibly not trained on such a particular circumstance that happens here in our image. So. The training and the pre-training side and the fine-tuned side, it is so important to have an understanding here. And here now, our fine-tuning process, if you have a lot of pictures with a human face in the background, you would now have a complete different method of fine-tuning this pre-trained uh, vision transformers with the dyno methodology. So. This is now very clearly, very beautifully, a visual interpretation, what the machine recognizes on this image and why it failed to come to a clear image classification, a human face with lights in the foreground. Beautiful. You see, sometimes code can be so beautiful and so simple that we can deduct how and why a machine fails to understand we just had here just a look at the attention. Yeah, there was some interpolation and some reshaping, but never mind about the details here. But we could here really clearly understand how it works out, where the machine code fails. But let me give you in my next video an example where it is successful, has been successfully trained in the pre training and was able to identify at least. The boundaries of the object, although it failed to classify the semantic wording in the 1000 class object set. But more about this in my next video. I say thank you and I hope I see you in the Black Pyramid.